Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. doing my brother so you've been retaining it so far right because i know you say look you were like hey i gotta go but then look the word kept you here right give me proverbs 20. yeah exactly that's what we're about to go over watch this proverbs chapter 20 and verse 24 man's goings are of the lord man's going is of who are of the lord so when i first came out here and started talking to you it was like man i gotta go i gotta do this but look the Most High God wanted you to hear this. You understand? You knew you was from the tribe of Levi, but guess what? You didn't know according to knowledge. You didn't know everything. You see what I'm saying? So guess what? This is why you got came up here upon the prophets today. So you can learn that. So if you really want to change your life, guess what? We're giving you what you need. Give me that in Deuteronomy 30. We're giving you what you need to change your life from here, Luke. Right. And guess what? When you leave here, we're going to give you contact information that if you want to further your walk in this truth, we're going to have somebody you can reach out to. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30 and verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death. God has set before all of us life and death. It's only two choices. You don't have, oh, well, I think I can do this and still get into the kingdom of heaven. No. God give you one of two choices. Read. Therefore, th I have set before you life and death, uh -huh. blessing and cursing. Read. Therefore, choose life. God's telling us what to choose. He say, choose life. Do you know what that life is, Luke? What is it? Because the officers just went over it with you. What is that life? Give me Baruch 4. Hold that. God, right, so what is that life? Do you know? And that's fine if you don't. I'm just asking you to see how much you retain while you've been standing up here. And guess what? I'm going to give you, if you don't know, I'm going to give you the answer. All right, watch this. Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1. Read. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life. Shall come to what? shall come to life. So God says what? Yes, that's life. Keeping God's commandments. That's so right. go back to Deuteronomy. Now you're getting it, Luke. You understand? This is how we should break down the Bible. We've been taught lies for so long here in America that everybody can be saved, that you can do what you want to do. No, the Bible tells us what we have to do. And us as being servants of God, we must follow Read. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19. Read. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you uh -huh. that I have set before you life and death. So you've gotten life or death set before you today, Luke. You've been taught what life is. You understand what death is. Read. Blessing and cursing. Guess what, Luke? This right here, going into slavery, our brothers over there in Haiti, our brothers here in America, going into slavery was a curse. You understand? But God has given us what? If we keep his commandments, he's going to give us those blessings that we had during the time of King David. Read. Bring it up. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. God says, if you want to have eternal life, choose my commandments. That's right. This is what he's trying to tell you today, Luke. But guess what? By you hearing this, it's not going to just be that's all. You know what I'm saying? You're going to need some guidance with this. Give me that in Sirach 37 and 12. You're going to need guidance with this. But guess what? That's why you see your brothers out here today. That's why you ran into us today, Luke, to get that guidance. Read. Sirach chapter 37, verse 12. Uh -huh. But be continually with a godly man. The Bible says be continually with with a godly man. How do you know a godly man, Luke? Right address, okay. How they speak, right? According to the Bible, right? Okay. 
So you're touching some good points. I'm gonna show you the rest of it. Watch this. But be continually with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. It says a godly man is someone who you know to keep the commandments of the Lord. Right. Just like the officer brought out what? Fringes? Do you see these brothers out here with fringes? All right, this is what we're talking about. You see us, right? So it's giving you an inkling, an idea that these men must be keeping the commandments. Because he read that we must wear fringes, and guess what? These men are wearing it. You understand? So it's showing you who the prophets are today, who God gave this book to, to come and get a sense to the people. Give me uh, uh, Nehemiah 8 and 8. Because this is why we out here. We out here to make sure people like you, Luke, that love the Lord, know exactly how to follow God. Right. You understand? Watch this. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 8 and verse 8. Read. So they read in the book and the law of God distinctly. This is what you see us out here doing. We're reading the book of the Lord distinctly. We're not pulling scriptures out and having a whole sermon off of one scripture and going off our own interpretation. We're going, thus saith the text. That's you understand? Right. Read. So they read in the book in the law of God distinctly uh -huh. and gave the sin. Gave the what? And gave the sin. We're giving you the understanding of what it's saying. Right. Like this. When we ask you what life is, you said it's what? The commandments. Yeah, you understand. Right. See what I'm saying? But guess what? A lot of our people don't understand that. Showing you what? That's part of that two-thirds. You understand? Because God gave, give me that uh, in uh, 1 Peter. Uh, give me 4 and 11. And then after uh, after that, I got something else for you. Get that for me, then they're going to type me to my next precept. So God gave to a certain group of people how to understand the Bible. Watch this. 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 11. Three. If any man speak, <laughs> let, him, let him speak as the oracles of God. Three. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. So God said, whenever we come out here and teach or preach to someone, we must speak the oracles of God. Right. You understand? We must, give me all that in our Romans 3. We must say what God says and go out of the Bible. We can't go off our own interpretation. Watch this. The book of Romans, chapter 3 and verse 3. Start verse 1. Romans chapter 3, verse 1. Three. What advantage then hath the Jew? It said, what advantage is it for you to be a Jew? Because you are a Jew. You're from the tribe of Levi, the nation of Israel. Right. You understand? Read. Or oh, what profit is there of circumcision? What profit is it of circumcision? God's laws. Read. Much every way. It's saying it's much in every way. It's very, very important. But it's going to show you why. Chiefly. Mainly. Read. Because that unto them. Unto the Israelites, the people on this side, the tribe of Levi, Judah, Benjamin, Manasseh, uh, uh, Issachar, yeah. Naphtali. Read. Were committed the oracles of God. God gave the oracles of God to us. Yeah. That's why we're able to give you the sense right. of the Bible. Right. That's why we're able to answer every question that you have according to the Bible. Right. This is what we are here to show you. That you didn't fall thunder upon us by accident. Right. Your step was because God put you here. Right. Because you know you love the Lord, and guess what? You want to get yourself right. And guess what? That's why we're here to help you. Right. You understand? Go back to Rock 37. Read. Uh, no, you can read 30. Read 30. Deuteronomy 30. You was right. Go ahead. That's what you're holding. Deuteronomy 30 and 19. So we're going back to that. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19. Read. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, uh -huh. that I have set before you life and death, Read. blessing and cursing. Uh -huh. Therefore, choose life, Read. that both thou and thy seed may live. That's the rock 37 and 12. So you understand what that life is. You understand you got to keep God's commandments in order to inherit eternal life or the kingdom of heaven. You understand? But read, watch this. 
Sirach chapter 37, verse 12. But be continually with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, whose mind is according to thy mind, and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry. So the Bible says you should be continually with a godly man. Give me 2 Edges 7 real quick, and then we're going to get Matthew 5. 2 Edges 7 and 21, and then Matthew 5. So God says be continually with a godly man who you know to keep God's commandments. You can see these men are keeping God's commandment based off what the scriptures say. You understand? Meaning what? If something go wrong where well, you say, you know what? Hey, I'm having a hard time. Guess what? These brothers going to help build you up. They're going to show you what you're doing wrong, and they're going to help you and walk with you to correct that. Right. But guess what? The Christian pastors today, they say, no, you're okay. Be comfortable in your sin. No, not the prophets. We're going to tell you when you're in sin, and guess what? We're going to give you the scriptures to fix that sin. Right. Read. Second Ezra chapter 7 and verse 21. Read. For God hath given straight commandment. God has given us straight commandments. It's no, well, maybe I think I should do this. Maybe I should do that. No, God says, thou shalt, or thou shalt not. That's it. Read. God, for God hath given straight commandment Read. to such as came, what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. God says, I told you what to do if you want to inherit eternal life. And he said, I told you what to do so that you don't suffer hell, fire, and damnation. Right. This is what God is saying. He gave us straight commandments. Do it or you don't do it. But guess what? Everything you do that's not according to my will, I'm going to bring judgment on you. Bring it up. This is what the Bible is all talking about. But it's talking to the nation of Israel. Bishop Nathaniel, I want you to know that you can review all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today.